Students packed the Tucker Theater on Wednesday afternoon for the Freedom Sings performance, even though they had to go through this to get there. The show is a celebration of the First Amendment through music. So, how well do MTSU students know the First Amendment? Freedom of the press. Freedom of religion. Petition. Yeah, symbol. There we are. Speech. There we go. All right. Hey, look, we got them all. Freedom Sings is a multimedia experience featuring talented musicians and songwriters, some of which even Grammy winners. The presentation features music that has been banned, censored, or has sounded a call for social change, and invites audiences to take a fresh look at the First Amendment. Free expression at its best can be powerful and passionate and poetic, but at times it can really be polarizing. The show highlights times in our history when music was used to unify, such as the civil rights movement and women's suffrage, but also of times when it pushed two sides further apart, like the race records of the early rock era and drug reference songs that added fuel to the anti-rock campaigns of the 50s and 60s. This nation is at its best when it works out its differences peaceably. When you and I are free to talk to each other and express our views without the government interfering, that's what the First Amendment is all about. That's what free expression is all about. I really liked when they got into the Vietnam era and uh, started talking about the stuff that, you know, it's more stuff that we can relate to, how fragile our rights are, how we have to protect them, and, uh, you know, we shouldn't take it for granted. I learned that uh, a lot of the things that were going on in the past about how they kept songs coming out on the radio and how things were banned just based on the content of the songs favorite part of the show? Um, I really don't know. I think I like the, the drug reference songs. Those were fun. But I mean, the entire show was just really rocking and it was really cool. It seems many of the students learned at least a little bit of something from the show and at the very least got to hear some good music from some talented musicians. For Sidelines Online, I am Billy Swart and have a happy Constitution Day.